Woo! Good morning! Or afternoon. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day it is. Um, okay, so I thought I would get on here because I have all this free time and just kind of show you guys um, my folder coverage foundation. I know I did an Instagram poll and pretty much everyone said more natural, but I swear I always do the opposite of what everyone ends up picking. Um, Cause I did my everyday makeup on my IGTV, which is more natural. So I figured if you wanted more natural, you can just go hop on that one. Um, so I figured I would do a more full coverage that doesn't look cakey and wait, yeah. So first, I already did my eye makeup because it takes me forever <laughs> to do winged eyeliner and you'd probably be sitting here for 10 minutes watching me do that. Uh, shout out to Sarah for teaching me how to do that. Uh, struggled for years on how to do that and then she finally one day taught me how and I've been practicing probably every day since she taught me. So yeah, we did a winged liner but it takes me forever to do so I did that off camera. So we're gonna pin yay hair back. Also, for those who don't know, this is a wig. <laughs> All of my guy friends, well, one of my guy friends from high school FaceTimed me the other day and was like, I just need to see what your hair looks like. And I was like, it's my normal hair. He's like, one day it's pink, one day it's blue. Um, so yeah, this is a wig. It's a super bomb wig. I love wigs. I think they're so much fun. I have a pink one, a purple one, a platinum one. The platinum one is what made me want to go platinum. This one's beautiful. They're by Freedom Couture. She's out of Australia. So pretty. So natural. Love it. Okay. So before I keep you here for an hour and a half long, I will jump right in. So I did all my skincare leading up to pretty much my moisturizer. The key to heavy foundation not looking cakey is super moisturized skin super moisturized skin and I already have dry skin so I kind of struggle with heavier foundation looking cakey so I'm gonna go in with my eye cream Ooh, this is the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment one of my favorite eye creams ever so hydrating so just dab a little a little goes a long way so we're gonna put that right under the eyes got an eye crusty and kind of just dab it in La, la, la. I'm just waiting for Moose to barge in here like that. Have you guys seen that video of that dad that's on like live news and his kids like bust in the room and his daughter's like marching like this and then the nanny comes in and like grabs them. Me and my sisters watched that video the other day and I was dying laughing. It's like one of my favorite videos on the internet. Uh, so after eye cream, pat, pat, pat. I even go down towards my nose a little bit because right there is super dry. Honestly, my whole face is dry. So, and I just got sunburned. I laid out in the sun a little bit too long on Saturday and got burned. So, so next I'm going to do my moisturizer. This is the moisturizer from my skincare video. It's the youth to the people. I don't know how to say that word. Adap, adaptogen. <gasps> deep moisture cream <gasps> I'm sorry youth to the people hashtag not sponsored um so we're gonna go in rub. don't forget the neck what is that crusty won't get off <clears throat> feel like I'm giving myself a facial okay so after that I'm gonna go in with the glowtopia Oh, holy grail just a few drops literally like one and you're gonna rub that in your hands and just kind of press it into your skin as like a final hydration step Doo -doo. keep forgetting not to go over my eyes because I already already did them I'm gonna like mess up all that hard work that I just did um Okay, so next, foundation. I wouldn't even really say my foundations are full coverage. I just kind of put them on more. Like I'll do a little bit more on my face if I want more full coverage or I'll just go in hella heavy with concealer because lately the bags under my eyes have been real 
with all the stress and anxiety side note I hope everyone's staying sane and safe and practicing their social distancing um yeah I'll go more into that once I start this foundation so you're not here for an hour basically this is really dirty la, la, la. so the Dior forever skin glow is one of my top three favorite foundations ever um oh and it has sunscreen wow SPF 35 Holla. favorite dewy glowy it it actually I take that back it does give you a good coverage so love that and then I'm gonna mix it with the makeup forever reboot because this one's a little bit more yellow and this one is super super red which I do have red undertones but not this red so I'm gonna mix these Holla. mix these two I mix in the back of my hand just because that's the easiest place for me to mix I do about a squirt, I don't like that word, pump and a half of each. And then I mix them together. Wee. No, but really, my anxiety, as I'm sure everyone has felt, has been through the roof lately. I just flipped that and I don't know where it went. I'll find it later. Um, I've struggled with anxiety probably since I was... I would say about, I would say my first anxiety attack was about when I was 21, 22, and I was like, what is going on? I remember I was sitting at, okay, pause, pause story, just dab on little dots. I tend to focus it more on the places that need it, like my cheeks get really, really rosy, so I dab it more on there, and then... I'll put it on my um, neck. This is the Makeup by Mario Sephora collab brush. I've loved this foundation brush. It's been awesome. And I also just washed all my brushes last night, which I haven't done probably ever. <sighs> Health. Um, yeah, so just kind of go in and dab this around everywhere. But anyways, as I was saying, I probably had my first anxiety attack when I was 22. Did not know what was happening. I was with Eva. Shout out Eva, because she knew what was happening and she was like, Maddie, you're okay. And I'm like, but I'm not okay. Um, and, well, that's funny, she just texted me. Uh, and I remember going home and being like, what the heck just happened? Like, that was so weird. I was sitting in a restaurant and all of a sudden it like, it felt like I wasn't there, if that makes sense. That sounds really weird, but it felt surreal almost. Like it felt like I, I don't, I, I don't know. I guess if you've experienced anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. But it like felt like I was floating slash, and then my hearing like started going weird. Um, I know why God didn't give me long hair because I don't have the patience for this. Uh, side note, we're going to go in, always blend this good good on your neck as you can tell I'm awful at multitasking um and I remember going home and just like being really freaked out and my mom doesn't really struggle with anxiety so she didn't really know like how to handle it or what to tell me and her and my dad were out of the country at the time so I remember and I lived at home all throughout college, so I literally was home by myself, and I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, this is scary. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I remember I called my middle sister, because she had had a little bit of it after she had her kids, and she was like, you know what? Why don't you just come and stay with me, and you'll be good, and so it took me a while to get out of it, to like feel somewhat normal again. I feel like ever since then, I'm still hesitant to go do stuff like sometimes I'll get a little bit of social anxiety I have this really irrational fear of passing out in public I've never passed out in my entire life so I don't know where that irrationality comes from but low-key that like does give me some anxiety when I go out um but yeah all that to say so all of this started and I my anxiety has been through the roof as I no, it's been for a lot of people. Um, okay, sidebar. 
back to what we're here for. Um, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass. I just started using this foundation and I love it. I'm going to wipe this off my hand before I get it in this hair. La la. Um, I just started using it. I've been using it for maybe a month or so and I absolutely love it. It's so creamy. It's very, very full coverage, but it's not cakey, which I love that. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to go in with this damn beauty blender and kind of just press all of this into my skin. I have a hair in my eye and it's really annoying. Okay. Ah. I think I got it. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with this. This is shade sepia which is a little bit more warm toned I try to go in with stuff that's a little bit more warm to combat that um that super red ah I hate contacts foundation so I usually do like one or two whoa that was a lot steady there girlfriend and then I'll go in with this shade which is more of a red toned and I'll kind of go in between there. And then I'm going to take the more red toned and just highlight the spots. I really can't do this and talk. Highlight the spots that I want highlighted. And if I really, really want my cheekbones to pop, I'll even do a little bit right here. And there. Um, if you haven't watched the show New Girl, I would a thousand percent recommend it because it's probably one of the best shows. And she like sing talks a lot. And I, oh, my body suit just unbuttoned. And I feel like she's kind of my spirit animal. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in. I learned this like setting concealer trick from Maddie Bernard. She is one of my fave makeup youtubers to watch so basically the queen says you put a little bit of foundation on the back of your hand not foundation concealer on the back of your hand then you pick it up with the damp beauty blender so it's like on the sponge and then you get to work because basically if you don't do that then your beauty blender is going to pick up concealer instead of push it in and we don't want that we want those dark circles covered to the T okay now I can resume so basically all of these world events that have been taking place within the past I would say more of like a couple weeks for the United States have sent my anxiety through the roof and I remember when it like kind of all first started here I was reading way too many news articles and it was kind of information overload because one minute I'd be reading something and it'd be on a more like optimistic level and then the next minute I was reading something and it was like basically we're all doomed and I was like I don't even know what to look at right now and it's just a lot and it's very overwhelming and so my chest started feeling really really tight like low-key felt like moose was sitting on it and I was like I don't know what is going on and my breathing it wasn't shortened but I just felt like I couldn't take a deep enough breath like I felt like my breathing was so shallow and so I was in panic mode. I literally drove over to my parents' house at like 12 o'clock in the morning. Thank goodness my mom was still awake. And she was basically just being like, you have anxiety. Like, this is nothing new. You struggle with anxiety. Just know that it's anxiety and move on. And I'm like, okay, so much easier said than done. And I don't like to buff out that with this. Oh, wait. The trick. The trick. Because I was about to say I don't like to buff out my nose contour with the beauty blender because it just takes it all away. 
But hello, we just learned a trick from the Queen Maddie, and here we are. Wow, y'all, it didn't take it away. Just blends her out. Wow. Hallelujah. Um. Anyways, so I went to my mom's house, and she was basically like, you know you struggle with anxiety. I don't know why you're stressing out. And I was like, well, I'm stressing out because it feels like Moose is sitting on my chest and I like this, I'm not okay. And she was like, well, do you feel any other things? And I was like, no. And she was like, okay, well, let's just say that this is anxiety. And so I went to bed that night and I woke up the next morning and it kind of felt, I definitely felt better. So then throughout the day, again, started reading news articles that I definitely shouldn't have been reading. And I, again, felt that same like, like heaviness on my chest and so then I um okay ah, keep moving then I take my Fenty Beauty the matchstick which I love I've used this for all my contour this is the shade mocha it's definitely more of a red brown so basically I'm gonna go and contour all the places that I want to like shadow Ooh, girl, girl. Also, side sidebar from what we're talking about, my whole family has like really high cheekbones. My mom and my dad have them. A lot of people ask if I get um, filler in my cheeks and I'm like, no, just my whole family has them. But hey, if you wanna get work done, you do you, girlfriend. You do it. I can't, I really can't multitask, guys. I really like a super small chin. So, contour, snatch that neck. Warm up those cheeks a little bit. And I also like a really small forehead. Who doesn't? Okay. Um, I don't know where I was at in my story. I digress. Hmm. Not sure what happened. <laughs> um, I think I was talking about how I was talking to my brother-in-law. Yes. So brother-in-law's in med school. I called him that day. Okay. Another trick from the queen, Maddie Bernard. If you don't follow her, follow her. She's got like the best makeup tricks. I also love the Morphe continuous setting spray. It's like such a fine mist. You probably couldn't even see that, but I could see it and it brought me so much joy. Um, love it and it smells delicious. So basically spray on Lay Butt of Lay Beauty Blender. And I think I sprayed it too much. And then just get to work blending. Um, so basically my brother-in-law said the same thing my mom did. He was like, Maddie, you're experiencing a lot of what everybody's experiencing. Um, just... Find something to occupy your mind. And I was like, again, easier said than done, muchacho. But what I found, actually, I had a conversation with my dad the other day. And he was like, you know, he's like, you can only do what you can do as a person. Like, if you feel like you're doing your part, then that's all you can do. He's like, I think nobody knows how to handle this entire situation because quite literally nobody has experienced this. So I think everyone's in kind of like this awkward hysteria. Like if you're quarantining yourself, you're being dramatic and taking it too far. And then if you're like still going out and seeing people, you're not being dramatic enough and you're harming people. And he's like, basically, my brother-in-law said this too. He's like, basically anything you do, someone's gonna have a problem with it. So he's like, if you feel like you're doing what's necessary and you're abiding by the rules that they have given, then that's all that you can do. He's like, because when you start to worry about other people, then you're only making yourself miserable, which is kind of what I was doing by reading all those articles about people getting sick and people feeling, people experiencing blah, blah, blah symptoms. So it was just making everything worse for me. 
So by him saying I can really only worry about myself, it like put a lot of that into perspective for me. Into the fact that I really can only control myself in this whole situation. And as long as I'm doing what I feel like I should be doing, then that's all that matters. And that's all that I can worry about. So, whoa. Next, I'm going to contour a little bit of my nose. I don't usually like to, con lack, like to contour my nose because sometimes I feel like it's too harsh. But we're going to go in again with the matchstick and... So you really do want to connect all of this. So I've always started like right here and dabbed a little bit. And then you're going to bring it down. Bring it down. Go under the nose. Ooh, 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 ooh. Really wish I could have music playing right now so I could save you guys from listening to my nonsense. Um, yeah, all to say, hope everyone's safe. I hope you're doing what you can in all of this and taking the time for yourself and just acknowledging that these feelings are normal and that it's okay to be scared. It's okay to, I don't know, like nobody knows how to cope with this. Nobody knows what to do. So I think as long as you're doing what you feel like you can through all of this, then that's all that really matters. And I have found a, okay, before I, again, digress, we're going to go in with some setting powder. I have always loved the Laura Mercier translucent. So I just spilled everywhere. Um, and then again, another trick from Queen Maddie Bernard. She said when you're going in with setting powder, she's like, doesn't call it baking, but more of like pressing the powder into your skin until you can't see it anymore. And I loved that because I feel like because I have such dry skin, baking A makes it look cakey on me and B, it just dries the heck out of my skin. So I'm going to go in with the trick that she used with kind of just pressing the powder into your skin rather than just like letting it sit on top. Um, but yeah, basically I have found a lot of peace in the fact that God is in all of this and he will take care and everything is happening for a bigger picture. I've always, oh, I just got that in my eye. I grew up very religious. Like we were in church every Sunday and Wednesday. We did church camps. We did all the stuff our church did. All the little like conferences and stuff. Oh. Um, yeah, so I really grew up in church. Kind of when I went to college, it faded a little bit. Because I was definitely in that mode where I was like, because that's also when my parents didn't make us go to church either. And they wanted it to be our religion and not theirs. So I was kind of in that mode where I was like, well, I want to do what I want to do. And if that, if me being a Christian makes it like me feel like I can't go do something, then I don't like that. And basically I was like, I don't want to feel like my life is like, I don't want to feel guilty for what I'm doing. And then hang on and um it's like basically I was in the mentality of I want to do what I want to do and now that I've gotten older I've realized that God doesn't want to take away like what you want to do but when you start aligning your life with what he wants you begin to want what he wants for your life um so that as I've gotten older that has been a huge thing for me and my dad also owns his own business and he has basically said you know if God isn't in your business then it's not going to work and I was like whoa that is so true and so I really took that to heart and I think as of late it that's given me a big piece in all of this that's been happening 
Um, I can't, I don't know. I like can't really explain it. It's just like this like piece that I know everything's going to work out how it should. And yeah, I, I really do wish that I could explain that better. Sorry, I have to be really still when I do the middle. Um, yeah, so here we are, 25, realizing things in life. So next I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. I love the Hoola bronzer. This has been a go-to. It's pretty red, red toned. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M500 brush. Love this brush for kind of just like dusting that bronzer and making it look pretty natural. Again, I love a small forehead. Girl, and then we're gonna go I'm gonna dust a little bit on my cheeks just because my cheeks are already pretty rosy so which I guess a lot of that got covered up again love a snatch chin get that Get it on your neck. Okay. Now that the bronzing is done, I'm going to go in and kind of get the powder oh that's still wet from last night Yikes. so we're just gonna use this kind of dust it away y'all I'm like really looking at it in the mirror and it's like it's really not cakey ooh, 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 ooh. okay now I'm gonna go back over this and dust that away dust it away ooh 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 um i also know that i've have a quite a few new followers so i'll kind of just go into a little bit about me and what makes me tick and all the new stuff. So I'm 25 years old, getting up there. Um, I went to FSU, had so much fun there. I got my degree, okay, going back in with bronzer because I love being bronze. Got my degree in retail. Program was a little disappointing. I feel like that program can be so much more hands-on and it wasn't at all which was, again, a little bit disappointing. I have two biological sisters. I'm the baby. My oldest sister is 32. She has three beautiful babes. My middle sister is 20, uh, 29. She was born in 90. 29, yeah, because she'll be 30 this year. 29 she has two little babes um I'm the youngest and then I also have an adopted sister I have the worst posture if I could sit here like this I would um I also have an adopted sister who's my age um we adopted her when I was a sophomore in high school we got really close and then my parents also have two foreign exchange boys right now from Nicaragua they're 13 they're awesome we love them um they're our little brothers they're great. I'm a huge family gal. I'm always with my family. Yeah, they're everything to me. They've like provided me a lot of comfort through this time, this crazy, don't even know what to call it, time in the world. 
Um, yeah, so let me get, so this is the blush I'm using. I've recently started using this one. This is the Kat Von D. It's called Peony, which is only fitting because that's my favorite flower. So I washed this one and it like got all like scary looking. So I'm going to go in with this. I love blush. Again, I already said that my cheeks are rosy, but ain't no stopping me. We gonna get that blush on there. But yeah, so a little cloud the label update. Um, because they're based out of California, I got an email from them maybe last week or so when California went on lockdown. Basically saying that everything was kind of put on halt, which I was expecting. A little disappointed, but I was expecting it. I'm not too worried because this line was meant to not have a season. It's not meant to have a certain color scheme. It's it's very meant to be capsule items in your wardrobe that never go out of style. And so I, yeah, I just think it's going to be great. Great, great, great. As a recap, I have a skirt, I have tank top, a super cool black, blackless, backless dress, and what am I forgetting? Pants! Pants! Yeah, I'm really excited. It's so surreal. I'm like, wow, this is actually happening. And I forget about it sometimes, and then I'll be like, oh my god, I have my own clothing line. Yes. And don't forget about the art prints that are online. Again, 50% of all those pro proceeds are going to the Give Directly Fund. They provide cash with families who have been directly affected by the coronavirus. Um, a ton of people have been out of work. I, like, if I think about it too hard, I genuinely do get, like, super sad for these people because that's their livelihood. That's how they make money. Like, all these people who work at coffee shops, local stores, bartenders, restaurants. Like, they're, like out of work like that's super scary so goes to people who are really really getting affected by all of this Woo! all right so i'm gonna go back in with a little bit more blush just because i want to be a wee bit more rosy. Okay. So now that the face is pretty much done. Also, this is like a get ready with me today type video. So after this, I'm going to go put on like a normal outfit for what I'd be wearing. Um, trying to get ready during the day is something that I've been trying to do for the past couple I wouldn't even say a week because I haven't been doing it for a week, but <clears throat> it appears in my mouth. Trying to do it for my own self and just trying to get ready mentally for the day so that I'm not just sitting in the same clothes that I slept in. I'm actually trying to get ready and just kind of like get in the me that mentality. So after this, we're going to go pick out an outfit and I'll show you like kind of that process. So last but not least, oh, I didn't even do my brows. So, almost last but not least, we're going to set the face. Woo! And then I'm going to go in with highlighter. I like highlighters that aren't super sparkly. I like them to be more minimal. And I love the Dior Nude Luminizer. This is in the shade 1. So, I'm going to go in with a pretty small brush. This is the Morphe M441. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but I'm just going to do it for my highlighter. Get that Cupid's bow. Wow, and I'm forgetting to do my lips, guys. Whew. And then for the nose, we want to take a yay baby brush. And I'm only going to contour about to right here. Ooh, ooh. 
really gives the illusion of a snatch nose. Okay, so now I'm just gonna very quickly, roughly do brows. I honestly don't spend a ton of time on my brows anyways. So we're just going to brush them up real quick. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in shade Dark Brown. I love my brows to be darker than what they actually are. And you can do that by um, getting a little bit darker of like a brow pencil, a brow gel, a brow pomade. Yeah. Honestly, I might need to do this off camera. Otherwise, we're going to be crazy. All right, I'm going to do this off camera and be right back. Okay. And we're back. I honestly could have done that on camera, but I got halfway done and I was like, oh, we might as well just finish. Okay, so usually I like the like bushy fuller brow, but lately I've been loving the kind of more defined and just like a little bit more structured brow. So next, after we did the brows, I am going to go in and highlight them a little bit. really get them popping oh before i forget and i'm gonna take this and give the little corner of the eye action again i love this because it's not a sparkly highlight it's more of just like an illuminizing highlighter i'm gonna be seeing this ring light ring in my eye for the next like two hours all right last and least we're gonna do the lips so this is the morphe liner in sweet tea it's a good kind of nudie brown i like it when i'm tan because when i'm pale which is 90 percent of the time it's a little bit too brown Moosey, you okay? It's coughing something up in there. Gotta overline them bad boys. So the key to overlining is you really only want to overline like on the tops. And then on the bottom, because when you start to do the sides, oh, it looks like I have a mustache. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, that's when it like starts to look a little cray cray. And then we're gonna fill them in. The hardest part is like when one side keeps getting bigger and you keep trying to match this one and then this one's bigger and then you're like, oh no. And there's just like a never ending cycle of bigger lips and then next thing you know, the lip liner's like out to here. Good con it. Fill in. Ooh, 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 okay. Enough sing-songing. Then for the lipstick, we're gonna go in with a lighter shade. I love the darker liner with the lighter center look. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Girl Strip, her new little lipstick. My niece found this in the car the other day. She was like, Annie M, can I put on some lipstick? And I was like, sure, go for it. And I look back and she like had been drawing on my back seat with it. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. That's why it's like dented. Um, okay. So yeah, just gonna. Okay. To top her all off, we're going to put. The Marc Jacobs, this is Godsent 
This is the Hydrating Coconut Lip Oil. Oh, cue the angels. It's amazing. Okay, one last time. We're going to go back over with the setting spray. Take these clips out. And we are done. Hope you guys learned something. This is my fuller coverage foundation look and it doesn't look cakey at all. Okay, next we're gonna go get dressed.